Hey guys, real quick, I'm going to talk with you a little bit about uh, training videos, how we have that set up, and then hopefully we'll be able to build out this workflow so that we can take these videos, get them published to our YouTube channel, and then also our knowledge base articles in the support portal. And inevitably, that'll give us the ability to surface this type of information uh, on our website. So that is the key. What we want to do is we want to collect and um, publish our knowledge um, so that we can help out our customers and then also help out our team in regards to shortening the gap and the time associated with going out and um, building their business. So let me share my screen with you real quick and I'll talk with you about the process and the way that it works. So first and foremost, you know, we utilize Slack for our internal communications and Within Slack, we have the different channels. We have project channels, and then we have our general channel for Razor Sharp Networks, which I publish uh, all of our team trainings into there. What I'd like to do, Ronnie, if you would, go ahead and take all those videos and let's process them, get them in post-production and publish them to our YouTube channel. Now, once they're published on YouTube under team training, uh, as you can see here, we we'll publish them to the team training channels so that we can uh, aggregate all that information and it'll give us a nice string of training videos that we can utilize for new employees to get them up to speed um, what we can do is once they're published there let's send them back to serial so that we can publish them on um, our support portal and the support portal will give us the ability to uh, organize that information uh, give our existing customers access to the information. If they have questions about specific things, um, they can leverage the team training as well on the uh, Razor Sharp Network support portal. Um, what this does is this actually integrates with our website. And as you can see here, the widget on the lower right hand side gives us the ability to type in questions. And then this is connected to our support portal. So. As you can see here, we're aggregating and publishing content. I'm going to be utilizing this workflow in order to speed up the process associated with collecting information, how it is that we do, uh, what it is we do on a daily basis, and then publishing that uh, to our um, to our resources, our online resources and assets, so that we can increase the value of those assets. What that'll inevitably do in the long run is compress time frames and help our clients drive revenue associated um, with their businesses because they can quickly and easily go to our support portal or prospective customers can go to our website and they can do searches for different information like what is customer lifecycle automation or um, how do I automate my email or how do I automate my lead generation or how do I automate my customer acquisition or how do I retain more customers um, they can just ask those and what it'll do is it's going to surface that training and give us the ability um, in order to provide them some value on the front end, uh, which again, inevitably will uh, reduce the amount of friction with people uh, getting support and then also reduce the amount of friction associated with uh, people getting um, information that they need uh, in order to grow their organizations, which is inevitably what it is that we want to do. So that's all I got for you today. That's uh, kind of in a nutshell how we put together um, our training and how we can leverage what it is that we're doing on a daily basis uh, around our media plan in order to publish content online, syndicate it out and uh, provide it, index it, organize it, and provide it to um, new existing and future customers. So let me know if you have any questions, uh, leave a comment and or uh, some feedback and uh, make today and every day a fantastic day. We'll talk with you real soon.